The first school that every child in Germany must attend is a primary school. It emerged from the Volksschule People's School in the 1960s. And of course, here too, educational sovereignty lies with the federal state, which is why primary schools last four years everywhere, only in Berlin and Brandenburg does it last six years. In primary school, all children learn together and as far as possible, efforts are also made to include children with disabilities. The first day of school is a big event in Germany. The ABC Schützen, E Männchen or E Dützchen, as a new first grader are also called, are prepared for their first day at school in kindergarten, for example. Until then, they should learn, among other things, how to hold a pencil, that they can sit quietly for an hour, and that they only talk when they are asked to. I explained some of this in the video about kindergarten. Let's get to the preparations. At the beginning of the year when the child turns six, parents have to register their child at one of over 15,000 primary schools in Germany. Often there are school parishes or school districts, so you have to choose a primary school from the school district. These are around the family's place of residence. In particularly justified cases, this can be deviated from, for example, if you live on the very edge of the district and the nearest primary school would be in the neighboring district. The advantage of such districts is that people care about their primary school and neighboring children and friends also go to the same primary school. The disadvantage can be that certain primary schools get a bad reputation because more certain children go to the school. Typically, information about enrollment is announced in kindergarten, visits are often made to nearby primary schools and people receive mail or even read in the local newspaper that the time for school enrollment is coming soon. The primary schools have registration days and open days on their websites. When registering, you can often make wishes about who you want your child to be in class with and who not, so friends from the neighborhood or kindergarten often attend a class together. Once you have registered and your child has been accepted at the primary school, you will receive a confirmation. You then receive a list of things to do on the first day of school. As always, everything is well organized in Germany. For example, you will find the necessary exercise books that your children need. In the first year, they often have four lines underneath each other to practice writing the letters. And the boxes on the arithmetic slips are larger. Later, they have three or two or only one line. Sometimes they have one margin or two margins on both sides. Always pay attention on the lineatur rulings. If this is not indicated for your needed notebooks, ask for it. Also pay attention to the size. DIN A4 large, DIN A5 small or DIN A6 very small, often for vocabulary or exercise books. Coloring pads are sometimes also required in DIN A3 very large. If you take the paper to your local stationery shop or drugstore, they will certainly be able to help you. And when school starts, discount stores also have a large number of notebooks and pens on offer. Because the children often get worksheets, you will certainly need loose leaf binders. These are available in paper or plastic. While the paper binder, you can insert the sheets in different orders from the front or the back, while with the plastic binders, the news sheet always goes on top. There are probably color codes for the different school subjects. Of course, there are also school covers for the exercise books to match. These color codes help the teachers to see later on that all the children have their German notebooks and folders on the table in German class, for example. After the notebooks and exercise books, there are often one or two books 
that they have to buy. In North Rhine-Westphalia, the own contribution is currently around 16 euro per year in a primary school and increases with the other types of school. A notebook always has an ISBN, International Standard Book Number, with which you can order the exact book from your bookseller or the internet. Sometimes school or booster clubs offer collective orders. Often you can also buy the books secondhand from older pupils from higher classes. Here it is important to make sure that the required book is from the same edition and the same version. But also what is written with is given. Mostly the children start with pencils, which of course have different degrees of hardness, mostly HB is medium is used. Fountain pens are used from the third grade onwards. Crayons are also needed and certain watercolor boxes. In addition, there is often a case or pencil case in which the pencils, erasers and often the sharpener are stored in orderly fashion. And a schlamperrolle, an unsorted case in which other things are stored in a jumble. Of course, you need a school bag or satchel. Go shopping together with your child. It is less important what brand the satchel is or what color it is, but that it fits your child well and it's preferably adjustable so that it grows with your child. There are specialist shops in the region, but larger drugstores or supermarkets also have a selection for the start of the school. Although the color or design of the satchel is not technically important, your child will certainly prefer to wear the satchel if it is the right color or has the right design. In the same way, when buying a fountain pen in the third grade, you should go with your child and try out different pens before buying one. Sooner or later, they will also need a ruler, a geotracator and a compass. Of course, a fixed compass with a center screw. Whether your child uses an electronic device such as a tablet in the first years of school or does not start computer lessons until the fourth grade varies. Since Corona, it is also possible that the children receive a Teams account and an email address from the school, for example, so that they can use it to receive assignments and return documents on a bridge day. We didn't have a special end device for this and the children did it on the computers, laptops or tablets we have available. A few schools are already equipped with iPads, although there are also differences here as to whether class sets are available for loan, loan devices that can be taken home or whether the devices have to or should be obtained at home. Otherwise, textbooks are issued by the school. Here it is advisable to get a dust jacket so that the book remains in good condition for subsequent classes. If you have all of this, you will now need sports kits for your children, sometimes swimming gear too, depending on the school year. In some primary schools, slippers are also worn. And then on the first day of school in grade one, there's a special feature, the school cone. Every child in Germany gets a school cone on the first day of school. You can buy these ready-made, but some parents also make them themselves or they are handicraft sessions in the kindergarten. The school cone contains small items for school, such as pens and rulers, but also sweets. On the first day of school, everyone comes to the primary school dressed quite festively. The parents go into the assembly hall and find out what will be happening in the next few months, how to report a child sick in the morning or when the primary school might be closed besides the holidays. Meanwhile, the child goes to classes with a class teacher and everyone gets to know each other. Often coffee and cake are offered for sale on this day, for example, by the booster club. Usually the first day of school is over after just a few hours. Typically the school day in the first year is not as long as in the fourth year. Schools usually last only the morning and ends at noon. 
school does not last the same length of time every day and there are not the same lessons every day. Typically, the teaching week is the same for one school term. The children get a new timetable at least every school year. Some schools offer an open all-day school, which means that after the end of the school lesson, further care takes place in the school building or on the school grounds. Either the teacher or another provider, such as a welfare organization, makes sure that the children have lunch, do their homework together, and then have time to play or to do handicrafts together. Often, trained educators look after the children. The growing number of all-day schools partly pleases parents, who then do not have to look after the children themselves in the afternoon and can continue to work, but sports clubs are increasingly worried because they have to shift training times to the evening. Without all-day schools, homework has to be done at home. The homework should be done by the children, not by the parents. It is of course no use to the child if he or she brings homework done by older siblings or parents to school but has not understood the subject matter. And then the serious side of life begins, as begins der Ernst des Lebens. This is what children are often told when they move from kindergarten to primary school. In primary school, of course, German is taught. In the first year, children go through the alphabet and learn the letters, because school beginners often start with the letter E. They are called e dötzchen or e männchen or ABC Schützen. Of course, there are also other regional names. Here I would like to link a short video about the pronunciation of the letters in German. Since many schools teach writing in syllables, the children sometimes need two crayons to write, because the syllables are written alternately in different colors, so that the child can see how words are made up of syllables. This slows down the writing, but speeds up the reading process because the children recognize words more quickly from the composition of syllables. In the next year, the children learn punctuation, spelling, literal speech, and the, they write essays, for example, my experience on holiday. Mathematics is another important main subject. In the first grade, they often learn the number range up to 10, including addition and subtraction. In the second grade, the number range up to 100 and the small one by one follow. This is followed by division, the basics of geometry, and is often concluded with a number range up to 1 million in the fourth grade. Typically, calculators are not used in primary school, so children learn to add, subtract, multiply and divide in writing. In the same way, they learn the times and calculate with amounts of money. A third major area is science education. Sachkunde. In primary school, this is a big mix of biology, physics, chemistry, history, geography and politics. So they often learn local history. Was a town founded by the Romans or in the Middle Ages? What was alive back then? What does Germany look like? And what are the capitals of the federal states? Which countries border Germany? When does the water boil? When does it freeze? How can a fish breathe underwater? Or what happens in my body when I bleed? What is democracy and how do I vote, for example, the class representative? Whenever possible, teachers combine these subjects. For example, in history you might discuss the Middle Ages, while in German you write an essay about knights and in mathematics you calculate how many loaves of bread can be made from a certain amount of flour. In addition, there are sports, religion, music and art. Religion is usually offered as Catholic and Protestant. Where possible, Islamic instruction is usually also offered and sometimes Jewish religion. Sometimes ethic classes are offered instead of religion or as a substitute. In physical education, general movements are trade, running, jumping, throwing, but also sports and sometimes inter-school competition are held. Competitions between schools are more common in secondary schools.
In music and art, history is addressed as well as handicrafts, painting, singing and dancing. The aim is to educate the child as broadly as possible and to lay the foundation for the child's further school career. In the third and fourth grade, working groups are sometimes offered. In these clubs, children can learn something that is not usually on the timetable. It could be a certain sport, cooking, making music, gardening or something else. The schools are very diverse and creative here. As a rule, it is not possible for a child not to take part in a certain lesson, such as religion, sex education, sport or swimming. Every child must attend all classes. Exceptions must be specifically requested and justified. Likewise, absence from school on school days is not possible. If there are special reasons apart from illness, such as a funeral of a close relative or a special family celebration, then this must be applied for and approved by the school in advance. An absence, like on the last day before the holidays in order to catch an earlier and cheaper flight to the holiday, is prohibited and can be punished with fines. Teaching children at home by parents or private teachers is not possible. Children have the right to school and social interaction. While as much teaching as possible should take place with a class teacher, there are also specialist teachers, for example for sports, music, religion or even English. Depending on the federal state, primary schools begins with a foreign language, often English, however this can also be different, especially in the border regions. Most of the lessons are also given in the classroom. Only specialized lessons such as music, sports or IT lessons are taught in special rooms. For religion, for example, the classes are then divided and at the same time two or three classes are combined and then the Catholic, Protestant and Islamic religion are taught in three different classrooms. In the classrooms, children have often a locker where they can leave art supplies or books, for example, that they don't have to take them home all the time. Parents have to check the satchels so that the children don't have to carry everything with them all the time. It's quite a lot of weight for small children. If possible, the children should also go on excursions, hiking days, visit a museum, theaters, or nature reserves. Depending on the class, there are also school trips, often in the fourth grade, just before graduation. Depending on the region, there are school hostels, where classes live, learn and have fun for a week, away from school and parents together with the teachers. Schools from the interior often travel to the North Sea coast and the islands, and schools from the north travel to the mountains. If it is difficult for families to afford the necessary equipment or even the excursions, there are sometimes subsidies from the school's support association or from the municipality so that all children can participate equally. Papers and tests are written in the individual subjects. Sometimes additional learning level surveys are conducted, for example within the framework of PISA, in order to obtain an overview of the learning level of children in Germany. The papers and tests are graded from 1, very good, to 6, insufficient. Anything worse than 4, sufficient, is failed. Depending on the federal states, too many poor grades can jeopardize promotion to the next grade. In this case, a child remains seated sitzen bleiben, and has to repeat the class. For example, he or she is assigned to the class that has now reached the year and continues learning with the children from them on. Tests in Germany are typically tasks in which the children write down the answers. In German, of course, spelling and grammar are also assessed, whereas this is not necessarily the case in science lessons. There are hardly ever multiple choice tests. 
so the correcting teacher has to read through the whole answer or follow the child's way of calculation and then also sees whether the result was wrong but the way was right. At the end of primary school there is the transition to the next school. Here in the video I have shown the different types of school. The teachers give an assessment of what they think is the most suitable type of school. If the child was very good and likes to learn a lot, the assessment will probably be the gymnasium. If, however, the child has already had problems with the current subject matter and does not like to learn but has perhaps always been enthusiastic about practical things, the recommendation may be also Hauptschule. Depending on the federal state, this recommendation is more or less binding. It also sometimes happens that children from families with a migration background are given a poorer recommendation. This often happens even if the parents had a basic school education. This can be due to ignorance or because of the experience that in a household with only simple educated parents the support to learn at the grammar school is lacking. For example, the founder of BioNTech, Ugo Sahin, was advised not to go to grammar school. Nevertheless, his parents enrolled him at the Erich Kestner Gymnasium in Cologne and Ugo Sahin was the first child of Turkish origin, not only successfully graduated from the gymnasium with the Abitur, but was even top of his class. But even if the recommendation is not gymnasium, everything is still open to the child afterwards because the school system is very permeable. And as always a little democracy because shortly after the start of each school year the parents get to elect the class council, which in turn elects the school council so that in the end a selection of teachers and parents can decide together on various points in school. Schools are usually public schools run by the city or municipality. Traditionally there are a few church schools. Public schools or alternative schools run by a private provider, perhaps a parent's initiative, are rare. Typically here are Waldorf schools for example. In Western Germany only 2 to 3 percent of children go to a private primary school, in Eastern Germany about 10 percent. Regardless of whether they are private or public, all schools are subject to the curriculum of the federal state. There is no school uniform at public schools and there usually is not a private school either. Sometimes schools or booster clubs offer sweatshirts or jackets with a school logo, which are then worn at special school festivals or similar occasions. At graduation it is common for the class to get a t-shirt and for the children to sign this to each other at graduation. Some people are surprised that even primary school children in Germany go to school alone or ride buses or ride bicycles in the third or fourth year of school. On the one hand most schools offer traffic training so the children in the first or second grade know how to behave as pedestrians in traffic. At the same time there are always big advertising campaigns that draw attention to those starting school. In the third or fourth grade there are often cycling lessons. Children should already be able to ride a bike by then but now they learn to ride on the road. Children under the age of eight must ride on the cycle paths of pavement. Children between eight and ten years old may ride on the pavement. Children aged ten and over must ride on the cycle paths or if there is no one on the road. Since pupils are usually ten years old in the fourth grade, the bicycle test is set accordingly. Police officers often come to the school for this purpose and there's a practice and testing in normal road traffic around the school. Although many in Germany complain about the parental taxis in which parents drive the children to school, this is a minority in Germany. 43% of children walk, 17% takes a bus, 10% takes a bicycle and only about 25% are driven by the parents. 
and because usually several children from the street or neighborhood go to school, the children are rarely alone. Even if someone assumes that children of primary school age are also looked after after school and thus employers also have an understanding for the fact that, for example, employees have to stay at home when primary school children are ill, there is no law that the child is not allowed to go to a friend's house alone, go shopping or stay alone in the house in the evening because the parents want to go out. What matters here is a child's sense of responsibility. If a nine-year-old child can stay alone without being afraid and doesn't get into mischief, that's fine. In the same way, you can't trust a teenager not to get into mischief when no one else is at home. What was it like for you in primary school? What was your favorite subject at school? Did you like going to school? Write it down in the comments. And if you liked the video, get it like. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.